In today's video, we'll compare MailTrap and Resend API flexibility. We'll look at how they handle high volumes, email testing, templates, webhooks, and support to help you make a weighted decision if your current provider makes you jump through hoops when you scale. Hi, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. If you've ever hit a wall with your provider, timeouts, rate limits, emails piling up in the queue, this section is for you. MailTrap doesn't enforce a fixed rate limit. You can send up to 500 emails per batch, and it handles traffic spikes with smart throttling and internal queuing. If delivery fails temporarily, MailTrap retries for up to 24 hours and stops instantly on hard bounces to protect your reputation. You'll also get clear retry headers so you know exactly when to try again. Resend starts with a two requests per second limit. It can go higher, but only after approval. Its batch API handles up to 100 emails at a time, each with multiple recipients. Retries are automatic, and deferred emails handle in the background, but you don't get control over queues or retry pacing, and if you go over the limit, expect a 4 to 9 error with a cooldown period. Resend is efficient if your volume is predictable and your setup simple, but for bursty sends or more complex delivery logic, MailTrap gives you more control and flexibility without the need for custom workarounds. Scaling email isn't just about sending more, it's about staying out of spam keeping your reputation clean, and making sure critical messages always reach the inbox. That's where infrastructure matters. So, let's compare how MailTrap and Resend handle these aspects. MailTrap is built with this in mind. Shared IPs already come with solid deliverability, but once you need more control or want to send at scale, the business plan unlocks dedicated IPs with automatic warm-up to help you build reputation without any manual setup. MailTrap also supports stream-level IP pool management, which means you can separate transactional and bulk traffic, like password resets and newsletters, and you can give each of them the deliverability treatment that it deserves. Resend offers dedicated IPs, but only as a paid add-on, and only after you pass 500 emails per day. All senders begin on shared infrastructure. Warm-up is automatic, but there's no visibility or control over streams or IP pool segmentation, which can lead to inconsistencies as your volumes grow. Resend keeps things simple, but you don't get the same level of delivery control or stream separation as with MailTrap, and that can become a problem when you're sending across different types of emails. Now let's look at how flexible each API is when it comes to connecting with your stack, scaling workflows, or building custom automations. MailTrap provides a clean REST API and official SDKs for Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Java, .NET, and Elixir. It also supports automation through Zapier and Make.com, giving you access to hundreds of no-code workflows. If you're working with Supabase, there's an integration to sync users and events. For AI-driven use cases, MailTrap also offers prompt-based email sending through the MCP server. Resend is also API-first, with official SDKs for Node, Python, PHP, Go, .NET, Java, Ruby, and Rust. You can extend it further using community SDKs for tools like Elixir and Dart. And while it doesn't have native Zapier or Supabase support, it does integrate smoothly with platforms like Slack using webhooks. Everything is code-driven, with no built-in, no-code layer yet. MailTrap gives you more out-of-the-box flexibility with official SDKs, no-code integrations, and native support for tools like Zapier and Supabase. You can move fast with automation, or you can go deep with full API control. Resend is more minimal by design and relies on your engineering team to build and manage everything directly in code. Time to discuss analytics. Let's look at what kind of insight you can get from each platform. MailTrap offers full deliverability analytics, including open and click tracking, spam complaints, unsubscribes, and bounce data. You can drill down by mailbox provider, stream, or traffic type, and all opens and clicks are tracked through branded HTTPS links that are tied to your domain. That's important for credibility, and it helps improve inbox placement. Custom reports can be built from raw event data, exported, or routed through webhooks. You can configure those per stream and also MailTrap retries failed deliveries automatically. Message logs are available in the dashboard for up to 30 days and can be downloaded as needed. Resend takes a leaner approach. It tracks sent, delivered, opened, clicked, bounced, and complaint events, primarily through webhooks. Those are fast, signed, and retried with exponential backoff if they fail. Reporting is code-driven. If you want detailed insights, you'll need to forward events to your own system or dashboard. 
Logs are stored for up to 7 days depending on your plan, but there's no branded tracking domain or built-in UI for deep analysis. MailDrap gives you full visibility and control across your entire email flow, from engagement to deliverability to raw event tracking. Resend, on the other hand, keeps it fast and lightweight, but much of your reporting depends on what your team builds around it. Let's move on to infrastructure isolation and multi-tenancy. If you're sending on behalf of multiple clients, products or brands, isolating traffic and reputation isn't just a nice to have, it's essential. With MailTrap, you can create separate streams for transactional and bulk emails, assign different domains and IP pools, and manage everything through a single UI or API. Depending on your plan, you can connect up to 3000 sending domains, and you can keep each one isolated to avoid cross-contamination. Stream-level management gives you a clean structure for multi-tenant use cases even before sub-accounts roll out. Resend supports multiple domains too but it doesn't have stream separation or any built-in multi-tenancy model. You can use projects to segment things, but they don't offer access controls or environment isolation. There's no way to separate traffic types and no control over how IPs or domain reputation are split. MailTrap is built for structured sending at scale, where every stream, domain, and team has its own space. Resend takes a simpler approach, which works for single domain use, but can get messy fast if you manage multiple brands or environments. Next. Let's look at how each platform handles templates and dynamic content. Things that really matter when you want to speed up production or keep things organized as your email program grows. MailTrap provides full API access to the template engine. Templates can be created, updated and tested through both the UI and the API. The UI includes a visual HTML editor and a drag and drop editor. For developers, the template API allows programmatic control and dynamic personalization using handlebars. Templates work with the batch API for high volume sending. Conditional logic can be handled in code before passing data to the API. And template testing is built in, with support for previews and test data. Resend also supports API-based template management. You can create and update templates via the API with support for dynamic placeholders. Conditional logic must also be handled in your code. There's no built-in UI for editing, preview, or testing templates. So, MailDrap gives you a more complete, production-friendly template system with built-in previews and test options. Resend takes a code-first approach that puts most of the responsibility on your dev team. Let's move on to testing. Before going live, you'll want to catch formatting issues, deliverability risks, and rendering problems. A good API provider helps you do that safely without putting your reputation at risk, of course. MailTrap includes a full email sandbox for safe testing. It captures all of the sending traffic, so no test emails ever reach real users. You can check HTML and CSS rendering, spam scores, headers, and test templates through the API. The sandbox supports automation, so you can add testing to your CI-CD pipeline. You can also forward emails to real clients for previewing, and you can use the Bounce emulator to test how your SMTP client handles errors. Resend doesn't offer a full testing environment, but it does provide a few testing addresses for checking delivery, bounces, and spam complaints. However, there's no built-in support for previews, spam scoring, or test automation. To sum up, MailTrap gives you a full-featured testing setup to catch problems early. Resend requires more manual effort, since testing needs to be handled outside the platform. Finally, let's compare support and developer experience, because good documentation and responsive support can make a big difference when things go wrong or when you need to move fast. MailTrap provides detailed developer-focused documentation, including API references, SDK guides, and real-world examples. Support includes 24-7 customer assistance via tickets, live chat support directly in the UI, and priority support on higher tiers. Large senders also get free deliverability expert support and onboarding assistance. The UI is designed to be clear for both developers and marketing teams. Resend offers a clean developer experience with simple API design and good reference documentation. Support is ticket-based, with Slack and priority support available in the scale and enterprise tiers. Resend does not offer live chat or dedicated migration support, however. MailTrap support stands out with 24-7 live chat, expert deliverability guidance, and help with onboarding, especially valuable at scale. Resend while offering solid dev docs and ticket support, focuses more on a self-service approach, with additional support options available only in higher tier plans. Let's sum it all up. Both MailTrap and Resend give you solid API options for sending emails at scale. 
But if your needs go beyond basic delivery, you want more control over sending flows, you want better insight into deliverability, or you want a built-in testing environment. MailTrap offers more flexibility out of the box. You get fine-grained stream control, dedicated IPs with automated warm-up, better tools for multi-tenant setups, and a complete sandbox for safe pre-send testing. The built-in UI and no-code integrations also help teams move faster, and expert support is always close by when you need it.